Hi everyone, Stuart here from Riku. Google had put up a waiting list for Bard and I signed up for it and a couple of hours, maybe not even an hour later, I got an email that I had access. So this is my first look at Bard by Google. It's a competitor AI to ChatGBT and what OpenAI are doing. Everyone's sort of really interested in the AI wars between Microsoft and Google. So this is going to be super interesting. Let's have a look at Bard and see how it performs. This is my first look. Okay, so this is Bard. This is the interface that Google have for it. So you have a reset chat, you have Bard activity, um, where it will give you your outputs here. So I was trying a few things just a minute ago. It has an FAQ and there's help, help and support. And you can hide that if you want. As far as I'm aware, there is no API for this yet. What I find interesting when I was talking with my co-founder about this, he wanted me to try something in Thai because ChatGPT performs very well with Thai language. So we are typing here to compare two regions of Thailand. And if we hit enter and send that to Bard, we get nothing great back. So this is a bit of a letdown for people who are using other languages than English. So I think primarily for now, I haven't really tested it for any other languages like European languages other than English. Um, but for uh, something like Thai, it looks like ChatGPT is the winner for now. But let's just try and do some prompting. So I can say, write a blog introduction on Plato's Allegory of the Cave. And it will then give me a blog introduction, I hope. So here we go. So we have an output. We have a lot of text and we have some key points about the allegory of the cave. And what I like is you have this draft. So if you want to um, compare different drafts, you can do so quickly and you can see between different ones and you can choose the ones that you like. So that's pretty cool. That's something that is different to ChatGPT. Um, and it's uh, it's super interesting. So we've wrote one thing and we have our output. And there is a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a re-roll, I guess. And if you want to Google, you can Google. And it's providing sources for information that is found. So I find that quite interesting. Is it searching the internet in real time or is it just uh, taking the information and also providing the source there? So this is cool. I guess what we'll do now is we'll try and bring the memory into it. So we've asked for a blog introduction on Plato's Allegory of the Cave. And then what I'll say is give me a section of each of the roles of people in the cave and it should know obviously that i'm still talking about allegory of the cave so it's giving the corresponding meaning so we've got the prisoners we've got the puppeteers we've got the fire we've got the object so this is all about the allegory of the cave um and then i could say can you explain this like i am five and we're going to keep getting outputs on this. So I'm using it based on a very old philosophy essay that uh, I had to do back in the day. But it's uh, super, super fast at the moment. Maybe it's because there's not many people playing with it and they don't have the scaling issues. But for the moment, it seems pretty good. And remember, for each of these outputs, you get multiple drafts that you can choose between. Um but let me see if I can get like a full essay. Can you write me a full essay for a bachelor's degree at Oxford? 
that were asking for a full essay, bachelor's degree at Oxford. So I'm expecting to get something quite technical and quite long here. Let's see how we get on. Uh, weird. So we've gone from. Have we have we maxed out the uh, the token limit already? Because this is all about technology, and it's not about. Uh, it's not about Plato's allegory of the cave. So. We've got the role of philosophy in the modern world. The third one. It seems to have had some stuff based on the allegory of the cave. So the third one is the best. But I'm just wondering why it didn't have the memory to understand what I was after. So maybe if I update this and you wrote me a full essay explaining Plato's allegory of the cave um, for a bachelor's degree at Oxford so we've had to put more details into the prompt because we were getting irrelevant outputs and I wouldn't really expect that with something like this. So it makes me think that the token limit might be considerably less on BARD than some of the open AI models. Um, or it just got confused somewhere, which I'm not really sure why that would have happened. This is a fairly long essay. So, yeah, it seems pretty good to me um reading for it it seems quite accurate um and we have a second version and we have a third version and what i've noticed from bard as well it seems to really like doing these bullet points as part of the answer you'll see that we have the bullet points near the end and the bullet points near the end so that's just an initial play of what we're doing. I guess let's just see how it will work for doing some social media stuff. So let's see how it knows about that stuff. So let's now try and do some Twitter threads with Bard. So we could say uh, create a viral Twitter thread up AI using nerdy AI jokes. And we will see what we get as the output. What do you call an AI that can that can't understand puns? A neural network? What do you call an AI that can't solve the halting problem? A slow learner? What do you call an AI that can't generate original content? A copycat? Okay, so we've just got a ton of different uh, jokes, which is interesting. Um, let me reset the chat because this has now got me thinking, can Bard rhyme or not? So write a rhyming poem about cats. And let's see. Sky, tail, smile, furry, independent, loving, door, ask for, dental, ear, lifetime, confident. Okay. Not brilliant. Not brilliant based on what ChatGPT can do. That... Uh, is not great. And let's go right, write an outbound email for a CRM. Uh, 
I'm saying writing up an email for a CRM business, helps small business make more sales and have better relationships with their customers. So we have subject, maximize your sales and customer relationships with CRM software. Okay. It's okay. It's uh, nothing great, but it's it's okay. Um, for the moment, I guess playing with Bard, it seems interesting. It seems fast, but I'm not completely convinced about the level that it's at. So this is quite interesting to have a play with and see how you get on yourself. I'll drop the link below where you can see that. So what have we found out from this initial play? One, it doesn't seem to be able to rhyme like ChatGPT can. Two, the token limit seems to be a bit less when I ask for various questions based on Plato's Allegory of the Cave. It failed to give me a decent output and it went completely off topic towards the end where I would have thought the tokens shouldn't have been a problem. So that was quite concerning really with with where we're at um in terms of the viral twitter thread maybe my prompt could have been better but it didn't do as good a job as i would hope it's good to see google actually pushing something out and hopefully this is just the first version and it will continue to improve and continue to improve but based on this initial play there are stronger models out there. It will be interesting to see if they've released an API for this, what the pricing is going to be, what the structure is going to be, or whether this is just going to be something free for Google customers to play with. Um, super, super fun. Obviously, competition is great for the ecosystem. The more competition, the more it drives everyone forward and creates innovation. So I'm all for that. And I'm super happy that Google are actually at a point where they're releasing stuff for people to play with themselves. So super exciting times. If you haven't tried out Bard and you want to, I will put the sign up link below. I believe that it's only open at the moment for US and UK users. Expect this to change in the near future. So if you are watching this video in the future, it might have already changed. Try and sign up if you can. Thank you.